Okay, again, you're going to start with the 8 kilo or 15 pound bell, and you're going to start with the arch of the feet. This is the goblet squat. So, if you have any sort of knee injuries or don't feel that you're able to do a body weight squat well, I don't want you to do a, a, a weighted or kettlebell squat. What we want to do is get your body weight squat better or look at our guide to doing the ultimate squat and see if there's ways that you can adjust your squat or try different squat patterns. Okay, let's look at the squat. So where do you start with your feet? So I always say with, with a squat, you can go slightly wider than you would with a kettlebell uh, swing or with a general movement pattern. So where this would be just wider than hip distance, this is a little bit wider still. Yeah, so that's okay. So you're going to pick up the bell, coming down on the bell, so that you turn it upside down into what we call a bottoms up hold. Yeah, glug, 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 you won't forget that one. Keep your elbows in tight. Imagine that you've got newspapers or a book underneath your armpits that you don't want to fall to the floor. Feel free to add safety fingers, as I call them here, around there. And then again, turning your toes slightly out, yeah, so that they're slightly rotated. You're going to draw your heels in, squeeze your bum, tighten your core, and you're going to imagine that you're sitting down. So you're going to sit down on an imaginary seat, and then come back up. So you're going to inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Let me show it to you from the side. Again, toes slightly out, core tight, elbows tight. Inhale, exhale. Okay, so again, imagine that you're sitting on the seat. Try to get so that your knees and your bum are at right angles. Yeah, and that is a goblet squat. Again, if you have sore knees or haven't been able to do a nice deep squat, then you might want to practice with a lighter bell or you might want to practice getting your squat right so that you are still doing a squatting pattern, very important to continue to build up that strength, but that you're doing it without further injuring yourself. 